Could a Mar-a-Lago Accord be on the horizon? Imagine this, it's 2025 and US President Donald Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping emerged from Trump's Florida estate, announcing a new deal to let China's yuan appreciate against the dollar, just like the Plaza Accord of 1985. Trump has hinted at pushing for a weaker dollar to boost US exports if he's re-elected in November. His associates and some analysts even think his tariff threats are a negotiation tactic to make this happen. But would she agree to let the yuan strengthen? It's a tough sell. China's economy is shaky, struggling to hit its 5% growth target. A stronger yuan could hurt exports, potentially cutting GDP by 0.75 percentage points with a 10% appreciation, according to Goldman Sachs analysts. However, Trump's threat of 60% tariffs could hurt China even more, with UBS est estimates suggesting it could shave 2.5 percentage points off their GDP. The optics are another challenge. She doesn't want to be seen as bowing to US pressure, and China studied Japan's mistakes from the 1980s. Still, a stronger yuan could benefit some Chinese industries like electric vehicles, which are turning to overseas markets to offset weak domestic demand. While it's a long shot, a deal could ease trade tensions and serve both leaders' political interests. In geopolitics, even the most unlikely outcomes can become reality.